Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to another Monster High ranking video. Today we're going to be ranking all of the Monster High pets. So I do know that I've been doing a lot of Monster High content recently. It's not intentional, it's kind of just the ideas that I've had and the things that have been going on. So sorry if this is getting repetitive, <laughs> but um, I hope you can still enjoy it. We are, like I said, ranking the Monster High pets today. I've been doing a lot of different Monster High ranking videos on this channel for a while now, and today I thought it would be fun to take a look at the pets. I am doing all of the pets for from G1, G2, and G3, like I'm including everybody, to the best of my ability. There is like that little caveat there because it, it's entirely possible that within my knowledge there are some gaps and I might have missed a pet, so if I did, I'm sorry, it's not intentional, and feel free to let me know in the comments down below. I also could only use pets that actually have images, so I was like referencing the Monster High Wiki to try to make sure that I had a complete list of pets, and some of them were like book-only pets, or they were known within like the canon of the dolls in the movies, but they don't have images, so I couldn't really include those because it's kind of hard to rank a pet just based on an idea when I'm comparing it to pets that like have images. So yeah, this is as comprehensive as I could get it. I hope that I did pretty well with that. Um, but yeah, again, if I forgot one, feel free to let me know in the comments. As per usual, if you find yourself enjoying the video, if you could give it a like, that's very helpful to me. And if you're new here and you like what you see, maybe subscribe for more. But with that being said, let's go ahead and start ranking these pets. Okay, so just like with all of my rankings, I do use Procreate, and the categories that I have for the pet ranking are mine as top tier, being that, like, I literally want this pet, like, they're so precious that I want them to be a part of my household. Then we have Great Design, Cute, Kind of Bland. Then we have It's a Pet for, like, it does exist, <laughs> and then not a fan. If you've been here for a while, you might notice that these tiers kind of skew a little bit more neutral to positive than usually my tier lists do. Like, usually I have some pretty bad ones at the bottom, um, but I really love animals. I'm very much a pet person. I have my preferences, like I like cats more than any other kind of animal, but I like animals in general, so I don't expect to have a ton on this list that I outright dislike. So that's why the tiers are kind of skewed more towards the positive end. But that is what we have to work with today. So we are going to be starting off with What's It on the left, Frankie's Pet from Gen 1, and then What's See on the right, Frankie's Pet from Gen 3. Now, I feel like this is probably controversial, but I like the G3 design better because I get that for Frankie's Pet it makes perfect sense to have them be like stitched together. Like I understand the concept of What's It in Gen 1. But because I love animals so much, I think that for some reason the idea of Frankie being a person who's like stitched together parts is actually less upsetting than the idea of what's it being stitched together dog parts. Like it just makes me kind of sad, which I know doesn't make any sense. But it does. That being said, what's it is still quite cute. So he's going to go into the cute category. And then Watsy, I just think that this is really precious. I like the slightly more robotic design. I love the fact that he has a gear in one eye. I just think that that's really, really cute. I like the color scheme for him. This is precious. Still not quite top tier to me, but he is going to go into great design. Then we've got Cleo's pets throughout the generation, so on either end we have a version of his set, and then we have Tut in the middle. So on the left we have his set from G1. I do think that, like, she's cute, however, she really is just a plain snake wearing jewelry. Like, if you take away the jewelry, she doesn't have that much design to her. That's not meant to be mean, I'm just saying, like, she is just kind of more basic. I'm gonna go ahead and put her in kind of bland, because, like, I still like her, but, again, if you take away all the jewelry, there's not much there. Um, then jumping over to the other Hisset, so apparently in G3, Hisset still exists, and Cleo has two pets, I think that that's the thing. We only have, like, this little image from Box Art, I believe, so I know it's not super clear. I'm sorry, this is the best that I could do, <laughs> but this is, like, a little preview, I guess you would say, for Hisset in G3, and I do like this one better. I like that she's a Cobra in this generation. I can't see much of her, but, like... I do think that I like her a little bit more. She's got a few stripes, like a few different colors going on. This is a terrible scale for me to be using. <laughs> like, it's so rectangular. Um, but she's gonna go into cute. And then for Tut, I do know that people like Tut less just by the fact of, like, his set was the original. I think Tut's really cute, though, and so I know that this is probably controversial, but I actually like Tut, I think, more. 
Like, if you look at it objectively, and if, like, I take away any nostalgia for G1, the original Hisset, I think, doesn't have as strong a design as Tut. That's not to say that she was bad, again. I just think that Tut's really cute. So, oh gosh. I think Tut's gonna go in great design. Again, not quite top tier, but really, really good. Alrighty, then we have the two Neptunas, and this one is so hard for me, because G1 Neptuna is on the left, and then G3 Neptuna is on the right, and I think that looking at these images, I like G3 Neptuna better, because I really am a sucker for, like, the anglerfish inspiration. However, as, like, toys, I like G1 Neptuna better, because I think that the way that they sculpted G3 Neptuna, she doesn't, like, sit super nicely. So, as toys, I like G1 better, but as concept art, I think I like G3 better. The other thing is that a lot of what I like about G1 is the fact that Neptuna comes in this little purse, so, like, Laguna carries her around all day, and I think that that is absolutely precious. So it's, like, hard to separate the bag from the pet, you know? Oh, this is really hard. I think I have to include, like the fact that Neptuna is pictured in the bag just because she doesn't come that way in G3 and that was like a big disappointment for me. I'm gonna put G1 Neptuna in great design and then I'm gonna put G3 Neptuna in cute. I think that that's fair. It's so hard because I feel like there's more factors for Neptuna specifically than most of the other pets here that like go into my decision but I think that that's a good ranking. Okay, then we have Dustin, which is Twyla's pet dust bunny, G1 on the left and G3 on the right. I definitely like G1 better in this regard, just because I think that the mismatched eyes work really, really well. I think that the color is slightly more pleasing on that one, too. I don't know, G3 looks startled. Not necessarily in a bad way, but I think just when I'm, like, directly comparing the two, I like G1 better. That being said... I know that Dustin's a dust bunny, and, like, that's a cute idea, but ultimately, it just looks like a bunny, um, so they are a little bit more boring. I know that they both have button eyes, so that adds, like, something, but I still don't think it's, like, super, super exciting, so I think I'm gonna put G1 Dustin in kind of bland, because if it weren't for, like, the mismatched button eyes, it would literally just be a rabbit, and then I think I'm gonna go ahead and put... G3 Dustin and it's a pet. Not bad, like it's not bad enough for me to be like, yeah, I actively dislike that, which I feel like is the not a fan category, but it's almost there. Like it's, it's just kind of boring. Alrighty, then we have Crescent, who is Claudine's pet. Again, G1 on the left, G3 on the right. I think most of the time when I was organizing this, that's like how I oriented it. Obviously I'll point it out, so like you'll know if I changed it around for some reason. This one's hard because I really love the fact that Crescent and G3 has a crescent moon over her eye. I think that that's really, really precious. But G1 has so much sass. Like, the sheer personality in this drawing is insane, especially given that she's kind of just like a basic cat. Like, I, I am biased. I love cats more than anything. So, I get that. But... Like, there's so much personality. There's not to say that G3 doesn't have personality. I just think that for such a simplistic design, somehow G1 really knocked it out of the park. Again, with this specific art, like, I'm sure some other pieces of art are, like, less exciting. But this one's really good. Just because, I mean, yeah, I really love cats, so, like, I would want to own any cat. But I think that that's really impressive how much personality such a tiny little drawing got. And then I think that... G3 Crescent is also going to go into great design because it's very, very cute. Just not, not quite top tier there. Then we have a Shiver, Abby Abominable's pet mammoth. Uh, again, G1 on the left, G3 on the right. I like G3 so much better. I don't know what it is. I, maybe, again, it could just be that I'm picking like bad images for some of these, but I think that the G1 Shiver is just less exciting. G3 looks sassier. I like the ears a lot better, how they're like almost bat wing shaped ears. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna put, yeah, I'm gonna put G1 in cute, because I do still think like a tiny little mammoth is a very cute idea for a pet, and G1 Shiver is cute, but G3 Shiver is going into great design. 
Okay, then we have the two Count Fabuluses, and this is another really hard one, because I feel like Count Fabulous changed a lot between the two generations, and I like them both a lot for different reasons. Gen 1 on the left here is, like, comical to me, because he just looks so grumpy, like he's in this cute little outfit, but he's so upset about it. And he also is, in G1, canonically, a vampire that got stuck as a bat, which is horrifying, but also kind of funny. <laughs> so like, I love the lore for this Count Fabulous, and I think that the look is really funny, but I think that ultimately G3 Count Fabulous is way cuter, and He's kind of got like this cat bat mix going on. So like cats, I'm super biased. It makes it really, really hard. Oh my God, I feel like this is gonna be really controversial. I'm gonna put G1 Count Fabulous in great design because I do love the design. I love the concept for that version of Count Fabulous. I think it's so quirky and funny and a great idea. But I'm gonna put G3 Count Fabulous in mind because like, I would feel weird owning a pet that I know is canonically a human. So that's like the big distinction is that I feel like ethically I can't say that I would want to have G1 Count Fabulous as a pet. As far as I know, G3 Count Fabulous is not a vampire stuck in bat form. If I'm wrong, then I would need to bump him down to great design also because like again I feel like that's just kind of weird ethically um, but assuming that in G3 Count Fabulous is just this cute little cat bat absolutely going in mine I hope that that makes sense <laughs> but like I, I can't say I want to own a vampire that's weird that's weird <laughs> okay then we have Sir Hootsalot who is Ghoulia's pet G1 on the left G3 on the right and I like G3s so much more. They're very similar. I know, like, there's not a huge change there, but I like that G3 got glasses like Gulia has, just because I think that that really ties them in as her pet. I think that that's very, very cute. There's a little bit more color. Maybe I like the white beak better and, like, the white feet better from G1, but I think that the glasses are really precious and really, like, solidify the connection with Gulia. I think I'm gonna put... Oh, hold on. I do like G3 more, but that being said, I don't think I like it enough to put it in cute. I think these are actually both going to go in kind of bland. <laughs> I just, I just went on this thing about how I like G3 more, but ultimately they both are just owls and like, it is kind of boring. So G3 is better, but within the constraints of this tier list, they go in the same tier. All right, Perseus, Deuces, Pet, Rat, G1 on the left, G3 on the right. I'm gonna get so sick of subtitling me saying that. I'm sure you guys are sick of hearing me say that. I'm sorry. Um, they're both really cute. I think that G1 is better, just cause he seems like he's got more of a feisty personality and I like that. I like his little earring, but I do think that they have a lot of similarities. They both have the mohawk, one has a leather vest, the other has like a leather glove. So they have the absolute same vibe. Honestly, this ultimately comes down to maybe like a color palette for me. I like the gray with the kind of orangey blonde hair better, but they're both really good. I think I'm running out of like space. <laughs> okay, we gotta shrink G3 down for a second because I'm gonna put G1 Perseus in great design. I think that he's so clever. Hold on, hold on. I'm changing my mind. I'm gonna bump him up even more. I just think that this is really cute. I've had rats, they're precious, they're wonderful pets. I like his two tails. He looks fun. I am gonna put him into mine. I think I'm gonna put G3 into cute. Okay, this was a really random one that I didn't even know about until I started making this video. This is I, Vandala Bloons pet squid from the Haunted movie. Literally never knew about this until this video. She's cute, I guess. She is just a squid. I think a squid is a fun pet to have. Very appropriate for a pirate. The eye patch is pretty cute. I feel like, by all means, I should be putting this in kind of bland because it's just a squid, but also... I don't know, squid to me is like a little more exciting than like an owl. I'm gonna put I in cute. I think this is a precious design. I don't know, it's fun. Okay, then we have Azura, which is Nefra's little pet scarab beetle. I like her, I feel like she's got personality. Like, I, I know, 
<laughs> I feel like some people are going to think that her and Hissette have a lot in common from G1. But I feel like Azura just has a little bit more going for her. She's got more makeup. She is bejeweled, but it looks like the jewels are kind of part of her body rather than just jewelry. I don't know if this is controversial, but she's going to go into cute instead of kind of bland. I think that she's better than Hissette. I know that they didn't belong to the same person, but they belong to sisters, so I feel like it's fair to compare her set and Azura, and Azura just comes on the top. Then we have Captain Penny, Rebecca Steam's pets, and <laughs> if my husband were here, he would be very upset about this. He loves penguins. Penguins are one of his favorite animals, so I feel like he would rank this super highly. I, I don't dislike Captain Penny. I think I'm just less of a penguin enthusiast than him. I like the fact that she appears to be like fully robotic. She looks like she's fully made of metal, which is cute. It obviously fits in with Rebecca. I don't know. I'm just, I'm not as much a penguin person. I think I'm going to put this in cute. Yeah. Then we have Caution, which is River Styx's pet Raven. I want to say Raven, not Crow. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think this is so cute. And I'm so sad that we got robbed of having like a little figurine of Caution because he's a Raven but he's like kind of see-through so you can see his skeleton and it's such a cool idea, such like a fun companion for River Sticks. I absolutely love this design, even though the picture is kind of bad quality, sorry. Uh, he's gonna go straight into mine. Then we have Chulian, who is Venus's pet. And again, I think that this is so fun. Is it weird for a character named Venus to own a Venus flytrap? Maybe, I don't know. That's not the question here. We're just going to pretend that that's not there. <laughs> I think this is so cute. Even though I cannot keep plants alive to save my life, like I have the opposite of a green thumb. I'm so bad at it. I still love Julian with my whole heart. So I'm going to put him into mine, but I would have to like hire a full-time pet sitter to take care of him to make sure that I don't accidentally kill him like all of my other plants because I want Julian to thrive. Alrighty, we have Crossfade at the Chameleon up next, who is Jackson slash Holtz pet who changes colors based upon like what form his owner has taken at the moment. Very cute, very appropriate for Jackson and Holt. I, by all means, should be putting this in. It's kind of bland because like I get that it's just a chameleon. However, chameleons are adorable, super cute. I probably shouldn't be ranking him this high, but I'm going to put him in cute because I just, I think that's precious. Okay, then we have Cushion, Howleen's pet hedgehog. I, I like hedgehogs. Hedgehogs in real life are quite cute. But I really don't love this design. Something about like the eyes and the hot pink quills. The color scheme overall, I'm just not super vibing with. Oh, I feel so bad, but I think that this is gonna be my first not a fan. I don't know why. Like, I don't know what it is that puts me off from Cushion, but I just don't like them. Okay. <laughs> then we have Memphis Long Legs Operetta's Pet Spider. I have very conflicting feelings about this. I violently dislike the hairdo. Like, that's just not my style. That kind of like rockabilly vibe is not for me at all. It's just not a fashion sense or a style that I personally like. So I really don't like his hair, but I like the fact that he's a little spider and I like his little face. Uh, I'm going to go with cute, which honestly like is higher than I might have expected, but he deserves it. And then we have Needles, who is Jane Boolittle's pet sloth, I believe. This one is interesting because it looks like he's kind of sewn together like a plushie or something like that. But I can't tell, I can't remember if that's like meant to be that way or if I'm misinterpreting the drawing. Um, ultimately kind of bland, I'm sorry. He's cute, but like, I don't know. Nothing is like special to me about that design. He doesn't stand out. All right, then we have Ruin. I, <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna look up in real time how to pronounce that. <laughs> It sounds like ruin. One more. Ooh. 
I'm gonna go with Ruin, and you guys can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, because um, that was one of the pronunciations, and the other one was very French, and there's no way I can get that, so I'm sorry. Ruin, though. Very cute. I love the kind of fade to transparency. Perfect companion for Spectra. This is precious. Not quite mine. And if I were to factor in the figurine, it would be ranked way lower because the figurine doesn't balance well at all. But I'm going to ignore that and put them in great design because I think that that's so cute. Okay, then I, <laughs> I didn't know if Nightmare should be included because to me, Nightmare is like not quite a pet. But she was listed with the pets page on the Monster High Wiki. So we're ranking Nightmare. Um... I don't know if it's just the lighting in, like, the two drawings, but I think that I like the G3 version a lot better. G1 is just, like, very vibrant, like, too vibrant for me. I like the eyes better on G1, but I think that G3 just looks, like, nicer overall. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm gonna put G1 Nightmare into Not a Fan. I'm not really a horse person, so that doesn't help. And then I'm going to put G3 Nightmare into It's a Pet. Which, like, ironically, may be inaccurate because, again, I don't know if Nightmare should be classified as a pet. But that's where we're ranking her. <laughs> okay, again, apologies if the pronunciation is terrible here. But <laughs> this is Ching, Gina Fires Chilin. I think that's how you say it. I'm so sorry if I'm wrong. My mouth doesn't want to do any other languages today. It barely wants to do English. Um, but yes, Gina Fire's pet. I think this is cute. I think it's cool that they picked a character from Chinese mythology. I just think it's like a little bit more fun and a little bit more appropriate for Gina Fire than some of the other characters. Like not to diss the other pets that we have here, but some of them are kind of bland. I think it's cool that this references Gina Fire's heritage a little bit more. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of the color scheme, but that being said, I still think he's going to go into great design. Alrighty, then we have Claude's pet, Roxina, which is like a dog gargoyle. I'm not 100% certain. I don't know, like, the lore on that. <laughs> so correct me if I'm wrong there. But I think it's like a dog gargoyle. Very, very cute. I think that the G3 version is definitely cuter. I think that the G1 version has much more spirit to it, or just, like, more personality. Looks like a little bit rougher, but, like, still super sweet. Kind of like a bulldog. I don't know dogs as well as I know cats. I think it's a bulldog though. I just think that that's really cute. So I think that once I can get to these tiers, G3 Roxena is going to go into cute and then I like G1 a little bit better. So G1 Roxena is going to go into great design. Then we have Rue who is Rochelle's gargoyle or like gargoyle griffin question mark. Again, one of those things where like, is it weird just like Venus? for Rochelle the gargoyle to have a gargoyle pet. This is bringing up way too many questions. Like, I didn't think that I was going to have as many questions in this video. Oh, we're just going to ignore that one as well. <laughs> I think this is cute. Um, yeah, I, I don't really know what else to say. I don't think that I'm going to put this in great design because I don't think I would go that far. As much as I can say it's just a gargoyle, it's just a gargoyle, but it's cute. So it's going to go in cute. I'm running out of room and cute. Ooh, okay. <laughs> this is Shu. I don't know whose pet this is. There's an image though, so we're gonna rank her and we're not gonna rank her favorably. I'm sorry. Oh, it's Wadona. It's Wadona Spiders, which again, I, I just said I didn't want to question this anymore and I didn't want to have any weird like questions about the pets, but isn't it kind of bizarre to own as a pet something that you eat? I don't know. I guess people do that too. Like, people might have a pet cow, but also eat beef. I did not wake up this morning thinking that I was going to be feeling all these feelings doing a Monster High pet ranking video. Anyway, I don't like flies, so she's going to go into not a fan. This is getting weirdly uncomfortable. <laughs> okay, then we have Sultan Stings, who is Gigi's pet. Uh, I want to say a scorpion. I don't think that this one came out very well. This is the only image I have, so I'm sorry because I know it's a really bad one. But yeah, I just don't think that the scorpion design translated well into like the monster high proportions. This is also going to go and not a fan because I like the idea of a pet scorpion, but 
I don't like the execution. Alrighty, then we have Sweet Fangs, G1 on the left, G3 on the right. This is Toralai's pet Sabertooth Tiger. Both are absolutely precious. Oh my gosh, I think that G1 looks like a little bit more rambunctious, a little bit more like, let's go play chase, let's go play tag, like let's go do something. So cute. G3 looks a little bit sassier. I love the inclusion of the teal on G3 because I think that the orange and the teal has always been one of my favorite combinations for Torlai dolls. So for her pet to then have that combination is just so pretty, so perfect. But I do love them both for different reasons. And they are also both cats, which I know saber tooth tigers are like not the same thing as house cats, but I like all kind of cats. So these are actually both going to go into mine. I would happily have either saber tooth tiger in my home, which is a totally normal and not weird thing to say at all. Okay, then we have Amanita's Maggot. This one I don't think had a name, which is kind of sad because like I think almost all the others have names, but Amanita's Maggot. Uh, there's no reason I shouldn't think this is cute because maggots are not super cute to me. Um, if I saw a real maggot, I think I would probably scream and then maybe throw up. Because that's how I act with almost all bugs. <laughs> but in the animation, this is really cute. I think it's kind of precious. It shouldn't be, but he's kind of cute. So he's going to go in cute. Okay, oh my god, we here. This is like top tier. I know that I have a couple more after this. Doesn't even matter because I should have ended the video on Gooby. Um, unofficially named by the designer. This is the little ectoplasm cat that came with the G3 Monster High Coffin Bean playset. And I literally would buy the playset if I had the extra money just for Gooby. This cat is so cute. Yes, it's a cat. I know that I'm biased, but the ectoplasm is so precious. The little figurine, I think, glows in the dark. I would do anything for Gooby. I don't know why. I don't know why this particular combination of ectoplasm and cats has stolen my heart, but it absolutely has, and Gooby is top tier. Mine. I, I, love, I love them. Uh, then we have, okay, these last two layers are from the Ghoul's Beast Pet series from G2 of Monster High. None of these are named, and I honestly wasn't sure if I should include them on this list, but then I figured, why not? <laughs> I didn't have a good reason not to. Um, but they were only ever featured, as far as I know, in the Ghoul's Beast Pet line. So again, not named, but we're gonna rank them anyway. So left to right here, we have Laguna's Sea Turtle, Frankie's Frankenbear, and then Draculaura's vampire poodle question mark laguna sea turtle i like in concept like i think the idea of a sea turtle pet for her is cute but i think that the execution could have been better i'm gonna say kind of bland when i can get there i'm gonna have to move these around uh frankie's frankenbear i want to like I don't know. It almost feels like a weird combination of Dust and the Dust Bunny and like a Frankenstein theme. I know it's a bear, not a bunny, but I'm getting the same vibes as I got from Dustin. I don't know. I think I'm going to put him in It's a Pet, which I feel like seems kind of low, so I'm sorry. But yeah. Um, okay, and then Dracula is Poodle. Obviously inferior to Count Fabulous. Like, I definitely would prefer Count Fabulous. That being said, a vampire poodle is a hilarious concept, and the color scheme is pretty perfect for Draculaura. So ultimately, I know this is probably controversial, but I'm gonna put this vampire poodle in great design, which I know is the same one that has the like original Count Fabulous. Just know that Count Fabulous ranks higher, but I think that the poodle is honestly it's a funny idea. Like, I am not necessarily a Poodle fan, but I think that concept is honestly just hilarious. Then, lastly, the last two Ghoul's Beast pet critters are on the left, Cleo's cat, and then on the right, I don't know if this is a different iteration of Crescent, because, like, the colors are the same, but I don't think that she was named as being Crescent. I could be wrong. I don't know, but this was Claudine's pet from the Ghoul's Beast pet line. The cat, I desperately want Ghoul's Beast pet Cleo. Yes, the doll is cute. Like, the G2 face I would repaint, but the dress is cute and the heels are cute because they're, like, Egyptian and cat themed, which is perfect for me. But mostly I want this little cat. I don't know why. I just like cats, can you tell? <laughs> like, almost every cat, if not every cat on this list, is in top tier. 
so yeah, it's it's mostly just a bias, but I think this is really cute, and I would own this pretty little kitty and take such good care of him. So yeah, top tier. And then as far as Claudine's pet, it's funny because I think that if I knew that this was Crescent, I would put it in great design because I feel like this is actually pretty similar to the G3 Crescent that I like so much. But not knowing if it's Crescent makes it worse because if this isn't Crescent, it's a very lazy redesign, you know, to make like a new pet with the almost exact same concept. But if it is Crescent, then I kind of like it. I'm going to put this one in between great design and cute because depending on the like canon name or not having of a canon name of this little critter, they would go in a different tier. I hope that makes sense. I feel like this whole video doesn't make sense. I feel like I'm just blabbering. <laughs> but anyway, this is the ranking here. It is pretty overwhelmingly positive. Like, I feel like kind of bland sounds harsh, but kind of bland is just like, it's cute, but it's not super creative. You know, like it's not ugly and even it's a pet is not ugly the only ones that i actively dislike are the ones in not a fan so this is a pretty good list i love pets i just love animals so much and i think the monster high pets are really really cute i love that they all go so well with their owner's designs i just think it's such a cute concept like barbie okay barbie has this thing the past few years of just giving every doll like a little pet and it doesn't mesh, like it doesn't feel like it belongs, it's kind of just like a hunk of plastic, and some of the pets are really cute, but it doesn't feel necessary, whereas I feel like the Monster High pets actively add both to the universe and also to the characters that they come with. I don't know if I'm just biased because I love pets and Monster High, but I love most of the pets, and this is my very positive ranking. <laughs> So yeah, guys, that is going to be it for today. I do hope you enjoyed going through all of the pets with me. I'm sorry if the energy was kind of weird. Like I said, I don't know what it is, but I felt like a little bit off this video, like a little bit frenetic. So sorry if that was weird. Maybe it's all in my head and I'm going to go edit this and be like, no, you sound perfectly normal, which begs the question, am I always just a little bit bouncing off the walls or am I just imagining it? Not important though. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. Definitely let me know your rankings or if it's too many pets to rank, just your favorite and least favorite pets in the comments down below. I would love to hear from you. But yeah, I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day or your night or whatever it might be, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys.